night is upon us as the Raiders and Giants are set for battle. Will Las Vegas need to roll the dice in this one? Find out next on EA Sports. We are across the Hudson from Midtown Manhattan at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. This is the scene just before we came on air. This New York crowd fired up by the arrival of their G-men as they burst from the locker room. They're ready to go as the Giants get set to match up with the Las Vegas Raiders. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talked about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. He's tackled down inside the 20. So here are the Giants ready to start their initial drive of the game. They'll be led out by the number one overall pick back in April, the rookie from Clemson, Trevor Lawrence. And what a first half of the season he's had, leading the NFL passing yards to this point. He's been a tough man to slow down. So this defense certainly has its work cut out for him. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. On the ground, this is Saquon Barkley. Now the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Out of the shotgun, they run with Barkley. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. He'll lose a yard on the play, so now they need three yards on third down. Nice play right there to stop him behind the line, but I want to see how this defense continues to play him here in the first half. Yeah, we know. You know better than I. He has the ability to take over a game, so what do you do? Yeah, I think you have to make sure that you bottle him in at varying levels because if you crowd everyone to the line of scrimmage, if he breaks through, there's nothing but room to run. And that is incomplete. Fourth down, so on is the punter, Riley Dixon. Desmond King back deep. He punted four times in the loss last week as he gets this one away here. 37 yards on the punt with no return. And the Raiders will take over now first and 10. So here comes the Raiders offense now onto the field. And they'll be led out by a two-time Pro Bowler in his sixth season now, Dak Prescott. And you've got to think that they've got to be feeling pretty fresh. You know, coming off of the open week, didn't have to play, right? Gives them a chance to rest up a little bit, heal some of those aches and pains, and excited about playing again. That really rekindles things a little bit. I want to see how they come out and establish themselves here early. And that bye week coming right where they want it in the middle of the schedule. First down, Prescott. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. So Charles, you talk about this offense as we play here in week nine of the 2021 season. Normally you're slipping kind of past the halfway point, but now with the season expanding to 17 games, you kind of think the teams might look up and say, gosh, we still have a lot of football left to go. No doubt about it, remember. They've had their open week already, so this could be a straight shot all the way from here on out. To me, the best coaches, they tell their teams, hey, I'll take care of you during the week. You just leave it all out there on game day, 
and I'll make sure you're ready for the next one. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He'll fire this deep for Gallup. And a high throw there as this is knocked away, down to the ground and incomplete. On fourth down, A.J. Cole comes on to punt. And great special teams work here. This is knocking on the door of the five. They'll spot it at the six-yard line. Absolutely love the flexibility of these punters. Their leg drive, able to get it way up in the air, and that allows their punt team to get down there and down it inside the 10 because they've had some time. So the Giants getting the football back here for their second drive. The 6-2 and two is their record through the first eight weeks. Now, Charles, what is your assessment for them in the second half of the season? Well, I think that the road gets a little bit tougher for them. And when I look at their schedule, I see some of these road games, and I know those are going to be difficult. But this is a good team, so I'm going to go with 11-5. That seems about right, and I think that would be a nice accomplishment, too. Running again with Barkley on second down. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down at six. Lawrence. He's got the hook up to Odell Beckham. And he will have a Giants first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's the number two receiver in the NFL in terms of yardage. And tell you what, a few more plays like that, he won't be number two for long. But well, that's what often happens when you have competitors running around the field. These guys know where they stand in relationship to yardage, totals, numbers, the whole deal. And let's face it, all of them, they all want to be number one. And they'll throw on first down with Lawrence. Hunter Henry brings it in. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Ten more there and another first down. On play action, Lawrence. Throwing deep for Galladay. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. So a costly penalty yardage-wise is that'll move the football down to the spot of the foul. And what the officials are looking for in these situations, whether you're playing the man. And they're going to get him. They bring him down to the sack back at the 16-yard line. Yannick Ngakwe. He's the one that got home and takes him down for a loss of nine. First and goal looked like things were set up nicely, and now all of a sudden on second and goal, Charles, a big challenge ahead of them. And you have to know when you're this close to the goal line, things are going to happen faster, so you've got to get the ball out quick. Not going to have much time in the pocket before the defenders bring pressure. First down, a bit of a disaster, and now on second and goal, back even further. They'll try the right side here, Barkley, and he'll be stopped after a gain of only a couple down to the 15-yard line. Interested to see what they dial up here. Third and goal with a lot of green between them and the end zone. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. Gano's kick is good. And the Giants are off now to a 3-0 lead. So unable to convert for the touchdown inside the red zone, but they do come away with three. Yeah, it's a 32-yarder. That's essentially an extra point nowadays, right? Because it's 33 as a general rule for these guys. So it should be a simple kick. But you know what's really strange nowadays? When they miss an extra point, I think they carry that with them longer than missing a field goal because an extra point's supposed to be automatic. Absolutely, and I would think even field goals inside of 30 yards, even though they're substantially shorter than a PAT, it, would, it just has a different feel, doesn't it? A different it? feel, a different vibe. That's what I get from all the kickers I talk to. They always say, if I miss an extra point, that's the one that bothers me more. Play fake. Here's Prescott. He'll get this underneath to Jacobs. They'll contain him to just four. What second down. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. 
And this is going to be a Raiders first down as he's got this past the 35 to about the 37. Here's Jacobs. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Prescott. And it's throw incomplete. And the defender all over at that time, and it's going to lead to third down. On third down, it's Prescott. Got a man open. It's Darren Waller. And he'll be out of bounds up near the 45 at the 44. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. Well, the good thing about covering any game I do with you is I know that there's no problem with rhythm. Now, what we're watching offensively, a little bit of a problem there. Yeah, punt on the first drive, looking at another one here. Just a little slow. And, you know, they, they were talking about a fast start, but that hasn't been the case. Yeah, and let's face it, any team we cover always talks about a That's fast true. start. That's true. But it's not necessarily going to happen just because they say so and whether it's the script whether it's you know just what they're going through whether they're seeing different defenses they're gonna have to figure it out as this game moves on yeah the Giants ready to come out now and yeah, they have the game here followed by the open date on their calendar next weekend and Charles this is a crew that you have to think really is relishing the opportunity to be on the couch for a few days yeah, they certainly are, but let's face it, partner. They can't get caught looking ahead to that couch time while they're playing this one. They've got to take care of business first. Second down, here's Barkley again. Give him three yards, and now they're left needing a conversion here on third and six. Lawrence will throw. And yeah, this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. On oh, is the punt team now as this one sent away. Fair catch taken just inside the 40-yard line. They'll call that a 33-yard punt with no return. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. The Vegas offense ready for their next possession. They enter play here in this one on a two-game win streak, plus they come off the open week as well. So this is a team that has a lot of things working in their favor. Well, it certainly is, and let's face it, this team is playing so well. The worry now is that after a few extra days off, they'll be sluggish coming into this game. So I've heard that he spent more time in practice working what they call good versus good, starting offense versus starting defense. They want a fast start in this next game. On second down, Jacobs. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. He winds up giving a yard back there, and now it's third and two. Well, I would have figured after the nine-yard run on the previous play, getting one more yard wouldn't have been much of a problem. But apparently it was, and now it's third down. Try to run for it with Jacobs. And this effort won't be enough as they rally up to stop him a couple of yards short. Just a one-yard gain on the play, and that'll be the call to the punt team as it's fourth down. Fourth and short, partner. I mean, this will be a really risky call. Here we are in the first quarter. On They're your own side of the own field. Own side of the field. But, boy, what a tone setter that would be to go for it and get it, wouldn't it? You're gritty today. I like it. I'm feeling it. Here's A.J. Cole now as he's on to punt for Vegas. And he's getting a workout here in this first quarter as he gets it away. They'll score that a 36-yard punt, and it'll be Giant football first and 10. The offense takes the field, and we turn our attention to Saquon Barkley. And he's sure looking like a lock for a 1,000-yard season. Don't know if he's going to get it in this game, but he'd probably like to just to get past that point. Yeah, and if he doesn't, as you noted, there's still time, still opportunity. There's still more games to be played. So, yeah, it's not a lock. But barring injury, it certainly looks like he's going to get there. And what an accomplishment that is. Anytime you get over 1,000 yards, you're celebrated in the NFL. It's been quite a season. Still a couple chapters left in that book, though. And right side, Henry's got it. 
A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. Now a man who began with the Raiders. It's Latavius Murray. Yeah, this will be a Giants first down as he's able to get this up past the 40. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? That looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. It just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. It's Murray. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. On second down, here's Barkley. And he'll only get a yard, maybe two, up to the 46. Now Lawrence. He wants it all for the end zone. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And a fair catch called for and made just outside the 15-yard line. Just 34 yards on the punt there, no return. And possession will switch hands first and 10. Here's Las Vegas ready to take the field. And Charles, if the season ended today, and it's not going to, we still have December Yay, left. More football. <laughs> We're only in November. Uh, but they would be a wild card team, and that's great. They'd be in the playoffs, but you know they're trying to bump up to be one of those division leaders. That guarantees you at least one home game in the playoffs, and that's what you're really seeking. But there also isn't much margin for error for this team, right? Because right where they're sitting, a two-game losing streak could have them out of the playoffs. Yeah. So they've got to make sure they continue to keep the momentum going. Absolutely. There's some sharks smelling blood in the water behind them. They go back to the ground. This time, Jacobs. Absolutely nobody fooled there. He's going nowhere fast as he stopped by the line of scrimmage. A yard in the wrong direction. Makes third down tougher. Third down and nine. Sometimes I forget how much information he has to go through before the ball's even snapped. But what a diagnosis right there. Saw the play, shot through the gap like a rocket, and ends up spilling it for a loss. Here's Prescott. In trouble here, and down he goes. Back at the eight-yard line. Garrett in there to drop him for his 11th sack of the year. What a banner year in 2020 for Miles Garrett. Gets his Cleveland Browns to the playoffs for the first time in a long time and had 12 sacks to lead his team. He's averaged more than 10 sacks a year in his four-year career and was named All-Pro for the first time after the 2020 campaign. Here's A.J. Cole now as the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. So possession goes over here on the punt. And out will come the offense as they take over. The possession switching back to the New York Giants. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. They'll start out on the ground. It's Saquon Barkley. The tackle made by K.J. Wright. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Now Lawrence. Got a man. That's Colin Johnson. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. Getting it to him in space pays off big time. That winds up going for 31. Well, that's something that this defense is not going to be able to allow if they're going to have success here. They've got to be able to wrap up and get guys on the ground. They end up letting him get away, and it turns into a big play here early on. I can just see veteran observers of the game shaking their heads and talking about the dearth of tackling in the game today. On first down, Murray. 
And he's going to take this one down to about the 23-yard line. Second and eight coming up. Here's Lawrence. Gets it quickly to Galladay. That catch good for five. It's third down. Now Lawrence to throw. This one goes out wide for Barkley. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes this one down to the 15. Oh, they stopped him shy of the marker, thought they were bringing up fourth down, and then that penalty. Let's face it, they thought they had bent, but could absorb that, right? Instead, they broke as a result of their own penalty. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the nine. Three nothing after one on EA Sports. Ready to roll for the second quarter from MetLife Stadium. The Giants with the football. Now from the nine, here's second and goal. Another try for Barkley. A nice run there, eight yards, moves him much closer to the goal line now for third down. Third and goal now, mere inches from Pater. Barkley, and this time he is in. Yes. Saquon Barkley with touchdown number 12 on the year. And the Giants are able to add on to their lead. Able to punch it in on third down makes it easier for those guys on the sideline. They didn't have a fourth down decision to make. Yeah, could you feel the exhale? Because they were already thinking ahead as all the good coaching staffs do. Anticipating when we have to make the call. They already had it lined up. Never even got to it. Graham Gano on for the extra point. It's up and good, and that'll increase their lead to 10 zip. So that winds up a seven-play drive all time. And it ends with a Saquon Barkley touchdown run. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And it'll come out to the 25 as King opts for the touchback. The Raiders offense now making their way back out onto the field. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. And he gets this one just shy of the 40 down at the 39. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, give him 14. On the handoff, this is Jacobs. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Give them 12 yards go. that time at a Las Vegas first. Go. And there's a typical run by Josh Jacobs, one where as a defender, you have to make a decision about how you approach him because he's awfully physical with the ball in his hands. 12 touchdowns on the ground last year after seven as a rookie, and he was a 1,000-yard rusher in each of his first two seasons. Wouldn't surprise me with enough touches, he could easily crack the 1,500-yard mark. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. On play action, Prescott. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Jacobs. Now a second down and six. Prescott from the gun. Complete to his running back, Kenyon Drake. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 32-yard line. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. To throw is Prescott. He's going to look in zone here for Cooper. And it'll be incomplete. Good job staying with him defensively. And it'll bring up second down. When teams take shots at the end zone, you've got to defend it the same way you would defend the first down sticks. You defend the goal line exactly the same way. They can't cross that. You play through the receivers. But on that play, that's exactly what they did and batted it away. The Raiders on third down. Not good. 0 for 4 thus far. This will be third and five. 
Prescott down. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. I'm looking at this with my defensive eyeglasses on because you remember the old days when a tight end saw a linebacker covering him and thought he had a mismatch? But the way they can run nowadays, not necessarily so. They gave it a shot downfield. That one incomplete. So chalk that down as an eight-play drive capped with a field goal. Yeah, as a friend of mine used to say, they were moving and grooving for a while, but they couldn't keep the momentum going enough to get a touchdown out of it. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Jackson now to return. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. Saquon Barkley and the Giants offense set to kick off their next drive. The passing game, they've had more success there than the running game. Maybe something they game plan for. How come they didn't tell us about it? Because they wanted to keep it a secret. <laughs> we did ask, didn't we? But I think what happened in this one is they've realized that they've established the run pretty well, and teams are going to key on that. They thought they could open it up and have success through the air, and that's exactly what's going on. Yeah, they've had success at least so far here in the second quarter. A handoff to Barkley, and he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. He did have the touchdown run earlier, but not a heck of a lot more than that throughout this game. No, not at all. In fact, I would say that this defense has done as good of a job on him as they have on any runner in recent memory. The Giants on third down. They're at 50%, four for eight. This will be third and five. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Here's Riley Dixon now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. Fair catch signaled for and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return. Las Vegas' offense back out there, ready to go. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just I, I like the way you, you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. Credit it with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Let's just make this one succinct. Nice job there. All 11 guys on defense diagnosing the jet sweep and putting it down. Prescott's throw there, caught by Gallup. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. First and ten, Prescott. Dancing to his left. He's got the first down and more inside the 40. Prescott able to get down there at the end on the slide, and he has the first as well. Able to make something out of nothing there. 17 yards and a first down. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now, first and 10 at the 34. It's a jet sweep. This is Renfro. And a short gain down to about the 33. Ball at the 33, second and nine. Here's a handoff to Jacobs running left. Stop short of the 25, but that second effort got him a couple extra. On third down, here comes Jacobs. And he's going to be taken down here still a couple yards short of the first. Just a one-yard pickup there, and it'll be fourth down. They just keep trying, but so far, finding no room for him to run. Not none whatsoever. In fact, you run the numbers. He's under three yards of carry at the moment. Field goal 
try from here, but instead they're going to go for it. Prescott to throw it. And this is caught. Amari Cooper. And he gets this down to the 18. Good enough for a first down. Give them credit. They knew what they wanted to dial up on fourth. They executed it for nine yards, and the offense stays out there. From the red zone now, Prescott. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Back at the 26-yard line. Marching in for the sack, Michael Brockers. Well, we've seen how this quarterback can beat you with his legs. Saw it earlier on this drive, as a matter of fact. But that time, they had him covered. They really gave him no place to escape because oftentimes they're able to find a crack, a sliver, anything that can get them upfield. On that occasion, nothing open at all, and they swarmed him. Yeah, they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Another try after the first down sack. Prescott and Waller taking it in over the middle. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. The Raiders on third down. They're struggling. 0 for 6 thus far. This is third and 7. Oh, Prescott stripped. Much like a running back going through the line, quarterbacks have to be aware of protecting the football as well. He left it exposed that time, wound up having it knocked free, but fortunately had an alert teammate who was able to get it. The kick by Carlson is good, and that'll bring him back within four. So the margin shrinks there as they get the field goal to draw them a bit closer here in the second quarter. Yeah, nice snap, nice hole. They just want to keep this game close, so give them credit for finishing that one off with three. Jackson now to return. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. The Giants going to take over again on offense. They're out in front. Last time they had to punt it away. We'll see if they can add to their lead now. They don't want to go out and, and punt it away again. This team now wants to get a cushion, put people away. They want to run their offense and have it end up in the end zone. They begin with a run by Barkley. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage. And no more. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Maybe I'm wrong, but it looked like even if he had opted to keep that, I don't think there was going to be much to gain. Seemed like it was perfectly defense. You know what they say? Those guys on the other side, they get paid too. From the gun, it's Lawrence. Throw left side, taken in by Galladay. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Catch number 40 for him on the year. It's a first down. A handoff. It's Murray. Runs over him. And he's going to be taken down with a marker on the field. So let's see about the call. Holding offense. That hold coming from the middle of the line, the center. And it's difficult for him because sometimes you've got people right over you, and as soon as you snap it, trying to get your hands up and block them, you can be a little bit late getting it done. Only a yard on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Well, obviously, they would have at least liked to have gotten back to the original line of scrimmage. Instead, now, they're dealing with second and long. I thought they would have passed it after the penalty. Probably wish they would have now. Running again with Barkley on second down. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. The Giants on third down. Not quite 50%. Four for nine. This will be third and 15. And this pass broken up. And the contact well timed there. And now fourth down. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. Here's King. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. Let's see what our player spotlight feature has in store with Dak Prescott. And yeah, maybe he's starting to wave the white flag a little bit. He's playing pretty well, but the pressure, it's got to him. Has to find a way to step around it, step through it, or just handle it. Because as you mentioned, he's having a pretty good day overall. Just the hits keep coming. And taking those sacks, 
That's not the way that they want to finish a ball game with their quarterback on the ground so much. Uh, he'd like to stay upright. When he's been upright, he's been pretty good. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. 49 yards on the ground for him so far. Sometimes those lines that are drawn on a grease board or in a playbook, they come to life in, <laughs> out on the field, don't they? And we just saw that on that outside handoff to the right. That right tackle, he gets excited for that call, doesn't he? He does, because he just wants to dominate his guy and say, listen, I was the point of attack. I took care of business. That's why you're able to get downfield and add all those yards to your total. Yeah, really nice game there. Running is Jacobs. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the lot of scrimmage, and that's it. Miles Garrett, the all-pro, in on the tackle. Here's second and ten. Now Prescott. And his throw's going to be incomplete. And the incomplete pass on second down. Now they need a big play here, third and ten. Throwing, Prescott. Over the middle, complete. It's Drake. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it, it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. It's a nine-yard pickup on the play, and that'll bring up fourth down. Well, it looks like they got what they wanted. They got the completion, but they weren't able to break any tackles or gain nearly enough yardage to pick up the first down. Now to be fourth and short. So they'll say no to the 50-yard field goal try. Instead, the offense out there, they're going for it. They go with Jacobs. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Movement there on the offensive line, a little quick, and a five-yard penalty. Off start, off start. And that'll set him back five. Here's a handoff to Jacobs, and he'll be taken down at the 34. On second down, it's Drake. It looks like a pickup of six. That leaves him with seven yards to go on third down. Here's Prescott. Catch is made by Hunter Renfro. And he will not get what he needed as he stops short of the first down at around the 22. Just a five-yard pickup, and it leads to fourth down. the two-minute mark in this first half of action. The field goal unit's going to stay put on the sideline. They're going to go on fourth down here. They'll try and run for it. And he is not going anywhere. They stop him for no gain. He needed two, but he doesn't come anywhere close. And the Giants are going to get the football back. So they converted their first two fourth down attempts. Not there. Now they're two for three. You think maybe the offense coordinator expended a little capital on that one? You know, when you're two for <laughs> yeah. two, you can lobby for that third one, right? Didn't get it there. Maybe now the head coach might not be so eager to go for it as we go forward. Throwing now Lawrence on first down. Going right back to Beckham here, complete. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. I like that one, partner. They go back-to-back -back 
with excellent gains. And really, it shouldn't be a surprise who they were throwing the ball to. He's their best guy. Yeah, we knew that they would get him involved early. They're doubling down on getting him involved early. Don't be surprised. They'll come right back to him again. They haven't shown the propensity to be able to stop him. And this one nearly picked off. It kind of surprised you to see a defender of his caliber let it get away, but get away it does, and it's second down. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. They go play action with Lawrence. The throw for Tony is intercepted. Picked off by Casey Hayward. And the Raiders are going to have great field position here as this is returned just shy of midfield. That's one of those interceptions watching from up here. The quarterback wide receiver just looked a little out of sync. They did look a little out of sync. And, yeah, they're going to examine that when they get to the sidelines. And they'll talk about it throughout next week when they watch the tape. But the guy who's going to be there for him, really in his ear, is his center. Because that's a special relationship for a rookie quarterback. Your center handles your line calls. He gets everyone in the proper position to block. He'll be the first guy back to pick you up after you've been knocked down. And that's the guy you watch the extra film with and try and learn the league. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. Following the interception, here's Prescott. That one tipped, and it's incomplete. A good hands there defensively at second down. To throw once more on second and ten, Prescott. That is incomplete. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Looking to throw, Prescott. He finds his man complete. It's Jacobs. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Here's A.J. Cole now as he's on for the fifth time here today. And he'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. And no return here. Where will they spot him? They say just outside the 20-yard line. The Giants now going to take over late in this first half. And with a little under a minute to go, still time to try to put a drive together to add to their lead, should they so choose. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And that'll be incomplete from the 21 and second and 10. From the shotgun, Lawrence. And this complete to Henry over the middle. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Out of the gun, it's Lawrence, and that'll be caught by Tony. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. He dumps it off to Barkley. And a pretty little juke move there on a nice game. It's another 10 yards on that one and another first down. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. And this one will not get there. It's off to the left anyway. It's no good. So that would have been something from that distance, but to no avail. Comes up empty as we have reached the intermission. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman, ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, all right, Brandon, thank you very much. Hi again, everyone. Let's get you caught up with what's going on around the NFL as we are officially into the second half of the season. Let's check on one final game for you. And you can see they are scoreless as they play the second quarter. On now to a check on the next-gen stats for the Raiders in that first half. And they weren't able to get a whole lot done throwing the football. That'll likely be a big key if they want to turn things around in the second half. 
Meanwhile, for the Giants, we check out their numbers on the ground as they'll try to keep the momentum going into the second half. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. And it'll come out to the 25 as King opts for the touchback. Let's see what our player spotlight feature has in store with Dak Prescott. And I guess the question, Charles, is what's the formula for keeping him better protected? Because as we see, the protection, it's struggle. And normally what you get is renewed determination. When the, when, when the big guy gets hit, that usually sparks people. Hey, we can't let this happen anymore. They take it personally. He's not supposed to be on the ground, but that hasn't been the case so far in this game. So maybe they've got to figure out how do they get rid of the ball faster to help out the offensive line so he doesn't get hit as much. And we'll see if they can keep him off the ground now going forward. A gain of six there on first. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Here's Prescott. Buying time, the ball comes out, but this will fortunately wind up out of bounds. Go, Maybe Let's not go. exactly what they had in mind, but that scramble good for six and a first down. Second time he's fumbled in this game. Fortunate for him, this one goes out of bounds. And the key for him now is how much equity have you built up with your coaching staff? How much equity have you built up with your team to continue to get opportunities? Fortunate that one went out of bounds, saved him from a turnover. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Prescott off play action. And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. Nice job there defensively. A great time to dial up a blitz. And give him credit under center instead of throwing it away. Actually a pretty good job of getting past the line of scrimmage, not losing yardage. On play action, Prescott. On the crossing route, he hits his man, Amari Cooper. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 45-yard line. It's a pickup of 15 and a fresh set of downs. It's funny, when I go back to our pregame meeting with Amari Cooper, and we mention, eh, what if they play man coverage against you? He almost seemed offended by it, didn't he? I'll beat it. That's basically <laughs> what he said, right? I mean, the best receivers we've ever talked to and covered, when you talk about covering them with one guy, they think that's a personal affront. If they feel like if they can't just beat one defender, then they're not very good. First down, Prescott. That's complete to his tight end, Waller. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Now it's a bootleg with Prescott. He finds his man complete. It's Jacobs. On first down, Drake. Stops short of the 25. The nice move couldn't ultimately free him. The last run got six, now second and four. Press got down. And he's going to be taken down back around the 35-yard line. Daniil Hunter, he's the culprit, and that is now his 13th sack of the season as his great year continues. But nothing takes a start to have a good drive quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? No, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And Old Mo is a very, very fickle man. A long way to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive. To throw is Prescott. And pressure coming, and they got him once again. Dexter Lawrence in there to get him, and that is sack number six now for him on the year. This defense, they just continue to feast. Five sacks now as a unit. It's been quite an afternoon getting to the quarterback. And we're seeing it come from a variety of places as well. Sometimes just the guys up front getting to him. Other times you add extra guys rushing the quarterback, twists and stunts. It's been a variety, and they've had no way of blocking them. And the punt team on now as this one's set away. 
And a nice job here to down this one right on the five-yard line. That punt was near perfection as it checked up inside the five-yard line. You never know where these things are going to go, do you? No. What was it? You got a John Heisman quote about that, yeah, right? He said the football is roughly a prolate spheroid, which means it's going to bounce funny, and you never know where it's going to end up. Now Lawrence down around his goal line. And he'll get this underneath, dropping it off for Barkley. And they'll mark him down right around the nine, just shy of the ten. They'll contain him to just four, second down. Here's a give to Barkley. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. Now that's on the guard, Wyatt Teller. Now Lawrence to throw. He'll get this out to Barkley complete. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. That one good for 26 and a first down. Boy, a lot of moving parts on this play, but what a nice design to leak the running back out to the left and send him down the field. And a good job spotting him and hitting him for a big play. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Now Saquon Barkley. And he's corralled at the 40, but not before picking up eight. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Now the Georgia Southern man. This is Jarek McKinnon. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. Two yards, good enough for a first. They go play action now. Lawrence. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Well, on that one, they, they go with a play fake CD, but I don't think anybody really was fooled. All eyes were fixated on the quarterback, and they got him to the ground. And to run this play successfully, you've got to make sure that everyone is doing their part. You actually have to sell this play. You've got to sell the run action. Otherwise, why do you stop at the running back? You just run straight for the quarterback and put him on the ground. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Meanwhile, Lawrence's throw caught by Tony. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Rookie to rookie on the hook up there, and it's a first down. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory at the 48-yard line. Running left, it's Barkley. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. From the 44, Lawrence. And complete right side, the tight end Rudolph. That good for six as they keep this drive right on rolling. On first down now, run with McKinnon. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. The last run got a couple here, second and eight. They keep it on the ground, but this time it's Murray. And a short gain down to about the 33. They missed a field goal on their last drive. Here they need something to even get into field goal range on third down. Got a man, Slayton. And he will have a Giants first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Oh, that was a pretty route right there because it's all about finding a window on a route like that. He lined up on his left, ran the deep in route over the middle, and the ball was right where it needed to be. Really good trust between quarterback and receiver. Really good completion. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Throw left side, taken in by Galladay. 
And he'll get seven yards from the 17 to the 10 before he's taken down. Facing a second and three, ball on the 10. Here's Lawrence. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And the Giants are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage, and that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, tight, sharply run route. Again, zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area, so you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. Once more, Murray. And he pushes forward but comes up short of the goal line as he'll get a yard down to about the one. This drive started way back inside their own five. Now they're looking for the capper. Third and goal. Murray. He's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. He lost two, and it brings up fourth. Well, we saw a lot of negative plays that resulted in plenty of lost yardage in the first half, and that trend is continuing here. And no hesitation about this decision here. Confidently, they're going to go for this. Fourth and goal from the three. They'll run with Barkley. And he's not going to get in. They stop him at the one. They stop him on fourth and goal at the three. And the Raiders hang tough down near the goal line. Partner, when you see a running play stop short like that, you just know that the defensive front they won the battle of leverage and created the push back into the opposing backfield. And for the offensive coordinator, whether you had one yard to go or 20 yards to go on fourth down, now you're probably saying, oh, maybe I should have passed it, right? Yeah, hindsight is always 20-20. Second down, Jacobs once more. And a nice pickup as this one gets him to the 10-yard line. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Try to run for it with Jacobs, and he's going to have the first down as he gets this up to his own 11. There are a lot of different formulas to winning football, but one constant over the years, winning on third down. That pickup there was big because they had struggled throughout this one. Now a first and 10 at the 11. On the handoff, this is Jacobs. And he'll go down after losing yardage at the 10. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Uh, that's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stop that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. Second and 11 now. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. Toward the sideline. Did he keep the feet in? Yes, he got a boat down, says the side judge. And that's good enough for a first down. On first and 10, Prescott. Throw left side complete. That's Drake. It's a gain of five on the play, and it'll be a second down. Prescott yet again. And he'll hit the slant route. That's caught by Cooper. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. They've got another first down. The Raider passing game clicking on all cylinders right now. Play action now. Prescott. Incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. On third down, it's Prescott. Going to take a shot for Gallup. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Now give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. 
On is the punt team now as this one's set away. 35 yards that time on the punt. So now the Giants set to take over on offense. They were losers to Kansas City a week ago, but they are out in front right now. And they'll throw on first down with Lawrence. And this one hauled in by Rudolph. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. A handoff to Barkley, and he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play three quarters. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back now here in East Rutherford. It's the Giants with the football and also the lead as we get set to start quarter number four. Lawrence over the middle to Beckham and he will have a Giants first down as they're able to get the third down conversion well this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play you got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route and they just executed that one pretty well A first down carry for Barkley, and he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. They'll run it again with Barkley, pushing forward for three up to the 48. And the Raiders call on a nickel set here for third down. Lawrence will throw. Open man right side is Tony. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. Fourth down now after a loss of two. I hate to surrender the football when you're nursing a slim lead, but they're going to have to punt it away. Trust that defense. It's the right play at this stage of the game as well. You don't need to press it here because you do have that little bit of a cushion, and you count on your D to make it stand up. Here's Riley Dixon now, as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. The Vegas offense ready for their next possession. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and ten. Scott. He'll find his tight end. That's Waller. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. I got the sense that the defense created a little momentum for him there, didn't it? Did their job, forced the punt. Now, nice start to the drive. Offense has to do their part. Yeah, they certainly do, but what a great start for them. And they've got to go thank the guys on D. The big play to start him out. Has him at the 45 already. They will run the draw with Jacobs. And he's going to get this past the 50 and into Giant territory. The 71 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. Meanwhile, Dax throw taken in by Cooper here. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 35. A nice pick up there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. A first down throw for Prescott. Oh, no, he lost the football. And the Giants have it. It's picked up, and his guys are going to take over at the 34-yard line. There are two words that we hear coaches say all of the time. One starts with a B, one starts with an S, ball security. And they preach it. They, they have it up in, in the meeting rooms, right? You see
see the signs. They talk about it all the time. But still, when you've got defenders out there who are preaching, hey, we're going to take the ball away from you, no matter what position you play, you've got to take care of the rock. That catch good for only a couple. Throwing again on second down, Lawrence. Henry's got it out on the left side. And he'll go out of bounds, it looks like, right at the 40. That catch good for five. It's third down. I like the thought process. I like the design. But I think he may have waited a little too long to spot his man because if you're going to run that drag route, you've got to put it on him and let him turn up field. Instead, he waits until his receiver's too close to the sideline and they don't get the yards after the catch. And he will have a Giants first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that certainly appears to be a critical conversion right there because not only do they keep the drive going, they take valuable time off the clock as well. They have to feel really good about that last completion. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. On the run, it's Barkley. Oh, no, he lost the football. He wasn't ready. He wasn't ready. A call it luck or skill, whatever the case is, they're feeling good about just keeping the football there. Yeah, the biggest thing that they're calling it now, our ball. <laughs> I mean, they don't care if it was luck or skill, but the panic that jumps up in your chest when that ball's on the ground, whether you get it or your teammate gets it, just as long as you maintain possession, that's all you're looking for. On second and 11 now, Lawrence. That's complete to Tony. And he's taken down inside the 30. 19 yards there on the catch and run. So that last throw right there putting him already over 3,000 passing yards now for the campaign. And given where we are in the season, Brandon, you have to think to yourself, if he stays healthy, I think 4,000 is a given. I think 5,000 is not out of the question if he stays high. On first down, Barkley. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right of the yard. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. Looking to throw Lawrence. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Now Lawrence. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Henry. And he takes it inside the 10 to the 8 before he's out of bounds. A gain of six there on first. It certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense, and guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line. Of and he'll go down, brought down at the 20-yard line. Solomon Thomas, he's the one to get him, and that is sack number seven for him on the year. It certainly looks like Solomon Thomas is really regaining his confidence. Remember, he's coming off of a torn ACL, which was suffered in week two last year while playing with San Francisco. He signed with the Raiders in March. Six sacks in his four years with the 49ers. He's hoping those numbers really jump up. And he'll only get this to the 14 as he'll come up well short of the first down. It's a seven-yard run, but it does bring up fourth down. Well, with the fumble he had earlier, we, we know how key keeping the football is here. That fumble earlier probably at the forefront of his mind. Just hold on to this thing. It's also at the forefront of the mind of the guys who are trying to get the ball from him. And since they've seen him drop it on the ground before, they're doing everything possible to have him do it again. They need that turnover. So that gets him a little bit of breathing room, but not much. And, and you have to think back to the field goal that he missed earlier. This would be a two-score game right now if he converted them. And if you and I are thinking about it, you know he is as well because in the back of his mind he's thinking, I hope I get one more shot in an important spot. He just made that one. He wants one more later to truly make up for the earlier miss. The Raiders now set to get the football back. 
And that last turnover could have proven more costly, but their defense only gave up three. But now answering with a field goal doesn't do them much on this drive. They need to try and find the end zone. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Now Prescott. Oh, Prescott stripped. But I think the Raiders are going to be able to hold on to it. Yes. Fortunate to get that football back because trailing here in the second half, last thing they needed was to lose the possession. And the word I think of here is opportunity because it could have been lost there, their chance to score points. But the opportunity for the defense was to go ahead and really close this game down if they were able to get possession. On second and 15 now, Prescott on the left side. Gallup's got it. And he gets up near the 25 to about the 24 before going out of bounds. On third down, here comes Jacobs. And he's able to get it to the 31, and that's enough for the first. 78 yards rushing for him now as he's toted it 21 times. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch victory. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They run it with Jacobs. And he'll scratch out only about a yard up to the 32. That's it, baby. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Throwing, Prescott. He's going to find and complete it to Renfro. That throw good for only a couple and brings up third down. Here's Prescott. And he can't get away from the pressure the Giants get there. Daniil Hunter in there to get him. Sack number 14 for him on the year. Offensively, they're going to have to figure this out before next week. Seven sacks in one game. Yeah, that's more than any quarterback should have to bear. And if this continues on, there will be another quarterback in the game because no one can stand up to this week after week. Here's A.J. Cole now as he's on to punt for Las Vegas. Fighting his way through contact. That'll go as a 42-yard punt, but a net of 32. They had a 10-yard return, and it'll be giant football first and 10. Another drive coming up for New York's offense. They're holding on right now to that slim advantage in a one-score game, and you hear a lot about two-minute offense and four-minute offense. Obviously, the four-minute offense applies here. How do they run that effectively? Yeah, really what the four-minute offense is is you're just trying to grind the clock. So you want consistent gains, steady gains. Doesn't have to be big plays, but it has to be plays that gets first downs and keeps the ball away from your opponent. But certainly throwing the ball is in the mix here. It certainly is. Just make sure that you're careful with it. And again, get those first downs, keep possession of the football. They keep it with Barkley on first down. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. I know the game's not over, but there's got to be a sense of satisfaction right now for the guy carrying the football a bunch today. 99 yards, and he has enough time to go over the century mark. Well, you got to give it to him again, right? Yeah, there's no doubt about it. You're not worried about losing yardage here. You're not worried about any of that. You just want to get him to the promised land for every runner. 100 yards or more in a game. On first down, Lawrence. The pressure gets to Lawrence, and he'll go down. It's the former number four overall pick, Cleland Furl, that got in there to bring him down. A CD, a little bit of feast or famine for him. He's had some success throwing the football, but also now he's been sacked four times. Yeah, you just mentioned the four sacks, but you're right. He has managed to hang in there and make plays at times. His offensive line, they've got to figure it out and pick things up and give him more opportunities. And he has to help them by getting rid of the ball a little bit quicker as well. Throwing on second and long. 
Lawrence. He finds his target, Beckham. Another nice pick up through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect him to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. On third down, Lawrence. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. And that is no good. And this score will stay right where it is. But things just got interesting. They tried for the long field goal there to salt this one away. They don't get it. And now a little time for the other guys to mount a late drive. Well, they thought their kicker would put it through the post and finish this one off. I'm sure they discussed pooch punting it and letting their defense take over. Well, the defense now has to make it stand up, but they didn't get the best field position because the ball comes back to the line of scrimmage. Here's Prescott. Throw right side, going to be caught by Waller. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. Seven yards to pick up there. Now Dak. He's got a man complete. It's Amari Cooper. Clock running here under 90 seconds to go. To throw Prescott. He dumps it off to Drake. A good rally to the football keeps him to only a yard and it's second down. Prescott. The open man here, Renfro. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. Counting down toward a minute to go in this football game. He's going to go up top for the end zone. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. We've seen that the deep ball has been a part of their game plan all afternoon, but they've had trouble hooking up on it, unable to successfully find the end zone over the top. Desperation time. Prescott on fours. He's going to let it go deep for the end zone. And incomplete on the deep ball. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Giants are going to get the football back. So now let's reset here, Charles. They do have two timeouts left, so they can stop the clock twice. This one's not quite over yet. No, and what you're doing on defense, you're going to use both timeouts, obviously. But you've got to call defenses are going to force the issue early, meaning you want that play over fast. You don't want to give them time to dance around in the backfield or run a wide sweep that will take off time. Blitz them, put pressure on them, make sure that play ends quickly so that you can go ahead and keep moving. Now the Raiders going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in quarter number four. Tenth carry of the game now, Murray. And he'll be tackled just past the 35 at the 36. Now the Raiders going to burn their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 45 seconds left to go in the game. And they take a knee. Dixon, the punter, is on as he sends it away. On the return, it's King. So a change of possession here on the punt. And there'll be time for maybe one final play before we hit triple zeros. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. They have time here, partner, for just one final heave. And I have to look at it from the defense's perspective here. We know what they're going to do on offense. The Hail Mary, try and get guys down there and throw it in the end zone, tip it around and catch it. You've got to have guys back there to defend that. But also, you can't allow the quarterback as much time as he wants to set up and throw it. Maybe you bring a little extra pressure to make sure he gets rid of it quicker. A little bit of a cat and mouse game. We'll see if they bring that pressure. Well, going into the final play of this game, they knew that they needed some type of a miracle there at the very end, but they couldn't get it done. However, we were treated to really a spectacular affair.
even though they didn't finish it off, you're exactly right. They took us down to the last play. We're still, you're wondering, could it happen? Possibly, even though we both knew it was a long shot. So for the Giants, the win will move them to seven and two now on the year. And they'll be able to enjoy this one through the bye week before they get back at it again. Meanwhile, for Las Vegas, the loss will drop them to six and two now on the year. And they'll get a home date next week against the Kansas City Chiefs.